Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Mr. Hurricane and we're back with more Super Mega Baseball today. We have the Toucans and the B-Wolves squaring off. We have Maxwell Fowler taking the mound and we're going to see this packed lineup that the B-Wolves possess from my past series on the first Super Mega Baseball. It should be a fun one. At 1-5, and five, our season continues. Are we going to tank the rest of the way? Not necessarily. I'd like to maybe turn things around and have some fun this year. I know that I've not played super well to uh, begin this season, but I've still found it to be fun. When things are challenging in these games, that's oftentimes when I'm having the most enjoyment as we get the quick backwards K for Maxwell Fowler. But now, got to be careful facing Lance Adams. We know what he's capable of. And we're going to get a quick ground out by a half step. And now Andrew Ross, who had a disappointing first season in the series. And that ball is sent into this wide open right center gap. Ross in with a double. Ross did not have the best first year, however. Didn't have the high average or the power you'd expect, so his ratings did go down. It looks like no Leon Daniels today as that ball is sent into center. Ross to third, he'll head home, and it's a 1-0 lead for the B-Wolves. Jonathan Starks is having an awesome season. He is locked in at the plate, and he's going to ground it to the right side, and we retire him. But the B-Wolves get the run across, but I don't think we're going to see Leon Daniels today. So Logan Cannon on the mound. Good complete pitcher here. 97 mile per hour heat. This one is down the line, hooking foul that is caught by Eric Carter. So I've been uh, wanting to gather more feedback for this series, and I'd just like to know down below if there's anything you think would make the series more enjoyable or the episodes themselves more enjoyable besides me playing better. That's kind of a given. But if there's anything else that you think would spice up the series and everything to make it uh, just a more fun to watch. Obviously, these videos have never gotten the views of like my Madden stuff. But that doesn't mean I'm going to be giving up on this series as Calhoun sends a fly into right and that's caught. I kind of look at this series as a bit of a, a rebuild. Trying to make it more fun for you to watch, more engaging. So, uh, you know, I just enjoy the climb, I guess. I like the process of building stuff up. As that ball is sent into left field, Maxwell Fowler's given up some well hit uh, hits, I guess you could say, so far. But yeah, I want to stick with this series. And I'm hoping that over time it'll grow if I do a good job with it. So if you have any feedback, feel free to leave it down below. That's back to Maxwell Fowler, out number one. Now Eric Carter, who never has been the great offensive player, whether it be in Super Mega Baseball 1 or here in the sequel, he pops out. We have Desmond Payne playing in center today instead of Ja'Cory Day, just trying to get some mojos taken care of. Playing Kevin Martindale in the place of Perry Cummings for a couple episodes, that did help out with, um, with Perry Cummings' mojo, so that's back to normal, back at center. So here we go with Franklin Fitzgerald. Just a tad late on that one. That ball is sent into left field. There we go. I like to start turning on those a bit more often, but I'll take a well-hit single. Our catchers have been so good this year. Kelly John Charles up next against Logan Cannon. And that ball has a chance to sneak through and does. Very similar swings for both Fitz and Kelly. David McClellan now trying to continue this little success we've had here in the second inning. Oh, got underneath it. That was a good pitch to hit, but it's an infield. It's more of an outfield fly if you think about it. Kind of in the middle. Perry Cummings hitting a buck 25. Welcome back to the lineup, Perry Cummings. That ball sent into the outfield is also going to be an out. Gotta start squaring up on those. Less fly balls. 
118 hitting Desmond Payne now. Oh, I did not mean to swing there at all. Didn't even move the reticle. One and two to Desmond. On the ground at least, but it's out number three. But we get two singles. We got two hits right there. Back to the top of the B-Wolves order with Flash Jackson. Trying to mix up my pitches a bit. They seem to be smashing the fastball so far. And now a slider well hit to center. Caught. And Lance. Lance Adams into the seats. I'll take those seats as long as it's not the outfield bleachers. Oh, and two. Adams into right. That's going to be extra bases. Maybe even three as it gets into this right field corner. Adams, round second, heads into third. It's a stand-up triple. And now Andrew Ross trying to get another RBI. We are totally pitching around him here. Doesn't mean he won't swing and hit one of these quite well. There we go. Two strikes here from Maxwell Fowler. We'll try the power pitch. It was a good one, but he won't wave. On the inside corner... Ball four. Got to respect Andrew Ross. Mason Robbins drove in their first run. We'll now hope for a double play ball. Robbins sends it to short. Well played. It's still 1-0. Bottom of the third inning with Maxwell Fowler. That's a strike on the inside. And that one's inside a bit further. 26 pitches here for Cannon as we get jammed. Ah, oh, man, right down the middle. All right, Fowler back to the dugout, and here's Michael Riley back to the top of the order. Let's try pulling one of these now. Not easy to do so against the velocity of Cannon. There we go, right center! That's going to be a nice extra base hit for Michael Riley. Really good swing. I love that whole comparison between him and Matt Carpenter right now. I think it's a nice change for our lineup at the same time. You don't got to go speed at the top. That's a trend I'm still kind of getting used to in real baseball. Jordan Starks. Oh, no. Not with Jordan. Got to stop swinging at those. Marcus Calhoun, he'll try and bring Riley home. Ooh, 88 and still late. Popped up into shallow left center field. This ball will not fall in. The double goes to waste. Got a few hits, though. Jonathan Starks will ground out to second base. Maxwell Fowler having a better last couple innings than the first. And Corey Boyd. Uh-oh, some trouble there with Starks, but he avoids the error at short. And Darren Rose. Off-speed pitch is drilled to third base. Nice quick inning. And back to hitting with Franklin Fitzgerald. That ball is scolded to short, and Rose makes the catch. Those are the kind of outs I'll accept. KJC now. Two strikes. And pulled it to first base. David McClellan's turn with two away. Almost. A bit late on that, but a good swing. There we go, another line out. I guess you could call that inning somewhat of an improvement, just my luck didn't improve at the same time. Eric Carter with a line, or a rounder into the right field grass for another hit. Logan Cannon on the ground gives us a 6-4-3 double play ball. And Flash Jackson's turn now. There we go, good breaking ball on the outside from Max. We'll go back inside, got to mix everything up. 
Follow it all up with a change up low. The high heat to follow. No. Try to power pitch curve and we have a full count. Up the middle, a hit with a full count by Flash Jackson. Good A.B. Lance Adams. At least we're seeing him with two out instead, to, instead of leading off the inning. That's a silver lining from Flash reaching base. However, that's the one thing we can't afford. A drive out to deep right. It's gone for a two-run home run. All right, never mind about that silver lining. It's 3-0 B-Wolves. And we still got to face Andrew Ross. Big swing and miss. And now a shallow fly. Caught it. We got to get some runs, though. We're doing all our scoring late in games, and we're not doing enough of it. Perry Cummings at bat here. That's into center. It might fall in, and it will not. A sliding catch. Desmond Payne. Ball on the inside. Ah, oh, man. Two and one. Right down the middle. Payne. Oh, it stopped. He'll still reach. It's a hit for Desmond Payne. But now Maxwell Fowler. I think I want to take him out of the game. I want to get... Another at bat here for a good hitter. While we have a runner on base, we'll go Dante Rooks. Ooh, a pitch out. Ooh, big swing and miss there from Dante. And now a grounder foul. Payne goes. Strike him out. Throw him out, double play. All right, I guess that substitution didn't do us any good. So we're relying on our bullpen a bit more in this game as we head into the six with Gallagher on the mound. That ball hooks awkwardly back fair and it's out number one. And Starks with a drive to center. He does have a couple homers on the year. This one not his third, but clearly he's showing some power this season. And Corey Boyd as Gallagher hopes to have his First really good outing of the season. It hasn't gone well for him to this point. Bare hand pick up and out number three. Love it. All right, bottom six. Mike O'Reilly leads the way after a double in his previous at-bat. There we go. Two well out of the zone. And then a high pitch grounded for out number one. Not the pitch to swing at 2-0. There's Starks with a drive. Only 60 power, though. Clearly something's off. Marcus Calhoun's turn. There's a strike on the inside. Calhoun gets a well-hit grounder at short. Out number three. Gallagher looking for another inning after a five-pitch sixth. And this will be a quick first out. Carter with a shallow pop-up. In comes Payne for another catch. So Gallagher having a really solid outing here. I feel that to this point it's mostly been Hawthorne who's been our best reliever. But Gallagher gets a good bounce back performance. Meanwhile we're running out of time. Man, that's not helping. Here's Kelly John Charles, who's now tense. Two strikes down the middle. And another one hooked foul. Ooh, tough. Uh, I almost swung at that one. Not that one. That was an easier take. Keeping it going here. Barely staying alive in the at-bat. John Charles lines out. Plenty of those today. David McClellan's turn. Save 
seeing that accuracy become an issue now for Cannon, but we're unable to take advantage, and we're still shut out. All right, good job by Gallagher. Don't want to get too greedy going for a third inning, so we'll turn it to Sammy Hawthorne. And he's going to face the one, two, three batters here for the Toucans, or the B-Wolves. I keep messing that up. And that's a base hit to center. Now we got to deal with Lance Adams, who hit that two-run shot. Hawthorne, back to the middle. There we go. And we're going to get two. Our third double play turn to the game. Nice job, bullpen. Andrew Ross sends a rocket to deep right. A towering fly. And it's gone. Solo home run number three on the season for Andrew Ross. And it's 4-0. My former team has the big lead. Mason Robbins now with a liner that's caught to end the inning. All right, Perry Cummings. At least get us something going here to end this game. Way inside, one and one. 91 miles per hour now on the fastball. And a late swing for strike three. Desmond Payne. Again, some easy takes. And right down the middle, this is a drive from Payne. But it's not getting out of here, not by any stretch. Sammy Hawthorne will exit and will call in. Let's go Brock Schultz. Oh, wow, another line drive. This one is not caught, at least. Good base hit. It's something. Now Michael Riley's up. Oh, man, a bit early as he pulled the string. And now strike two at the knees. Oh, wow, I can't believe I hit that ball. You keep it going here, Michael. Ooh, I like that pitch, too. Way in. One and two to Riley. Back to the middle, and that's going to be the final out of the eighth. We will bring in Marquise Walker now to hopefully clean up this last inning. And we'll see if any magic awaits us in the night. Oh, some trouble by Jordan. I've noticed him bobble the ball quite a bit at short this year, so maybe his fielding needs some work. Corey Boyd. We'll check on the league leaders and the team stats after this one is over and see where some players are. This game kind of marks the halfway point of the season. I believe it is the exact halfway point, actually. Four double plays, and I can't even celebrate it that much. Darren Rose with a grounder. Nice job. All right, last chance here in the ninth. We have five hits on the day and none for Jordan Starks, who is rattled now. The mojo being a problem. Gotta fix that. He's our best player from last year. Starks to center base hit. Gotta get some hits strung together here. That's one. Now Marcus Calhoun against Cannon, who's trying to go for the complete game shutout. Oh, I liked that pitch. Just probably shouldn't swing at it. I like breaking balls in this game. Another one, and it's on the ground. Went down for it, and Calhoun bounces into the double play. Down to our last out, and they'll bring in Cameron Moss now for a one-out save. Oh, what a catch at third base! Lance Adams at third? Is that what that said? Two cans get shut out today, 4-0. We had some well-hit balls, but it just wasn't enough. We couldn't get them consistently, that was for sure. So another tough loss. Oh wait, never mind. It's a 12 game season, so that wasn't the halfway point. We'd already passed it. We now can do six and six at best. Really the playoffs for us just really aren't gonna happen this year unless something drastic happens down the stretch. We have the Raptors in our next game. They're the best team in the league right now. 
and we're also facing number one pick Antonio King. I'm looking forward to it just to see his talent out there, but uh, for a team struggling as much, facing the Raptors is not ideal right now. Here are the league leaders though. Kaloa Kanoa has the most homers with four. He's tied with TC James for the most RBIs. Cade Wilson and Jamal Henderson have the top batting averages now in the league. And for pitching, what do we have here? ERA, King and Armstrong and Valdez are still perfect. I don't know if King has pitched twice yet. Maybe his turn hasn't come up yet until now. They have played six games, so that would be reasonable. And we'll see us take on Antonio King next episode. Here are the team stats right now. Best average. Still belongs to actually David McClellan now. And then Fitzgerald. Schultz off the bench has one hit. Rooks hitting 313. KJC 259. Just not good enough overall. And for the pitching, for the ERAs, the best belongs to Walker, who has pitched 5.2. Then Hawthorne. Then Fowler. Gallagher down at the bottom. So that's going to do it for this episode, everybody. Hopefully next episode we can play a lot better. Thank you all for the support on the series, and I will see you again next time. Please hit that like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode.